Hello, this is Patrick Barnard reporting for Westmount Watch. It is Thursday, September 16th, 2010. We are only about 10 minutes here from Dawson College, which is probably the largest institution in Westmount. Today at one o'clock in the afternoon, the Dawson Teachers Union and the Dawson students are holding a special press conference. It's a press conference designed to protest the attempt in Ottawa to kill the long gun registry. The students and the teachers at Dawson are going to have their say about Bill C-391 and they're going to ask members of parliament from Quebec, from Montreal and from all of Canada to help defeat this bill that will destroy the long gun registry. Westmount Watch is going to go to that press conference right now. Do you think because of people who teach and go to school at Dawson experience this kind of violence firsthand that this message today will be stronger coming from this place? Those who have experienced gun violence directly understand the impact that it has and the devastation it can cause. And I do think people listen to them uh, more closely. Certainly those who've experienced it don't see it as a theoretical issue. They see it as a very practical, uh, very real issue with potentially highly negative consequences if we just simply do not work together to make this um, country a safe place for students, teachers, and everyone. What is the message here? Well, we want uh, Canadians to, to pressure their MPs to uh, vote down Bill C-391 that's coming up uh, very soon on the 22nd. And we want uh, uh, people to uh, show their support for the long gun registry, basically is the main um, message. Do you think because people here actually experience gun violence in a very direct way that that's the message becomes stronger? Uh, I would think so. Uh, experiencing it firsthand, <laughs> uh, I would think, lends us uh, some credibility. So um, I hope people will listen uh, to those who've, uh, who've suffered directly from this. Okay, so I'm going to begin by saying a statement in English and then Mikael will take over in French. So we're here to basically uh, voice the opinion of students here at Dawson. Our members believe that um, Bill C-391, the cancellation of it, is um, a, an extremely regressive move towards gun control and public safety. We think it's very important and it's a very sensitive issue for our students. Uh, we have been working in solidarity with the, student, with the teachers union and other counterpart, counterparts at Dawson. Um, and we have taken the initiative to send a bus um, the day of the vote on the 22nd so students who are concerned can show their support on Parliament Hill that day. We're also asking for everyone to grant um, academic amnesty for the students who want to show their support that day. And yeah, we think it's very important that students show their public support for the gun registry. Bonjour. Uh, écoutez, pour nous les étudiants d'Arson et pour la communauté de Dawson, c'est important d'envoyer un message au gouvernement Harper de dire que nous on tient au registre des armes à feu. Nous ici à Dawson, on a réussi à passer au travers de la fusillade, à passer au travers de notre deuil. Et puis, on pense que toutes les initiatives que le gouvernement pourrait prendre pour éviter une autre tragédie comme celle-ci sont importantes. Donc, nous, on encourage tous les Canadiens à envoyer un message au gouvernement Harper et à tous les membres du Parlement de dire qu'on devrait tous ensemble se joindre et dire que le registre des armes à feu est important. Et c'est pour ça que le 22 septembre prochain, on va envoyer un autobus sur les plaines parlementaires pour dire que pour nous, à Dawson, c'est important de veiller sur notre sécurité. Parce que depuis ce temps-là, depuis qu'il y a eu la fusillade, on a réussi à avoir moins peur, parce qu'on sait qu'il y a un gouvernement qui veille sur nous. Et puis là, on s'attend à ce que le gouvernement Harper comprenne le message de ses citoyens, comprenne le message de Dawson et qu'il continue à nous protéger. All constituencies of our college are represented here uh, at this press conference, faculty, students, staff, professionals, and administration. We issue the following joint statement against the proposed Bill C-391. At Dawson College, students and staff have witnessed firsthand the murderous violence that guns cause. We extend our solidarity as well to the families of the victims of the Ecole Polytechnique massacre of 1989, 
who were direct victims of long gun violence. Together, uh, the licensing of gun owners and the registration of firearms are effective in protecting public safety. Therefore, the Dawson Teachers Union, the Dawson Support Staff Union, the Dawson Students Union, the Association of Dawson Professionals, and the Dawson College Administration jointly call on all Canadians to demand that their MPs vote against Bill C-391, support the long gun registry, and expand efforts to control licensing and register all firearms in this country. We deplore the divisive techniques some politicians have used on this issue. Here at Dawson, we strive to remind our city clientele of where their food comes from and to respect diversity in all its forms. We seek to eliminate barriers of prejudice, dividing male and female, black and white, or rural and urban. For us, there is no rural-urban split on the issue of reducing homicides and suicides caused by firearms. <clears throat> the RCMP report tells us that rifles and shotguns are part of the cycle of abuse for many victims of family violence in rural areas. The real divide our country now faces is, is not between rural and urban, it's between the ideology of those presently in power and the reality of gun violence in this country. As targets of gun violence in the past, it pains us greatly that an occasion for uniting and healing should be used for fomenting division in our country. We therefore appeal to all Canadians, whether east or west, urban or rural, to come together to make their MPs listen to reason. If we accept the license and registration for a car, we certainly should accept it for long guns. On this issue of life and death, we urge Canadians to demand their MPs vote down Bill C-391 and support the long gun registry. On fait appel, en particulier à nos frères et sœurs québécoises et québécois qui ont élu des députés conservateurs dans leur circonscription et qui partagent nos convictions. Montrez à vos députés qui ne représentent pas votre volonté the message is that we need the registry and licensing to work together to protect public safety. Uh, long guns are involved in domestic violence and suicides. They are used most often in those cases. Long guns are what um, the, the firearms that kill police officers most often as well. Long guns in the wrong hands at the wrong time are just as lethal as handguns and in to, in to have a, a well integrated firearm safety program we need a functioning registry, good licensing programs and regulations around transport and storage of weapons and all of these things work together and that's what the Supreme Court said in 2000 and um, we, we just feel that to weaken gun control at this time is moving in the wrong direction.